Hey everybody, Blackwing Ninja coming at you with a video today. Um, gonna go ahead, everybody's been putting up their own deck list of this deck. You can kind of see from the, in the edge. Oh god, no. Okay, but uh, call this Dragon's Heartbeat. This is my own Dragoonini deck. I run the Beatdown variant, not the Synchro variant, so uh, it's a little different, but it works very well. It's beating Frog OTK, Blackwings. It's a really good deck, this format. And it's not very expensive, but, uh, I had to pour a little bit of money into this, but it's okay. Um, so, starting off, we run three Leviathan. I know it's a dead draw, but, uh, it's always food for Dragon Ravine, and, uh, surprisingly you get this out a lot. Usually with Brandestock equipped to it, so, you know, basically they'll be taking 5200 straight to the face. Really good. Two Mistletane. I run two Mistletane because I found that three was a dead draw. Um, I usually would not have a Dragoonity to, you know, send. This, you know, I put it in the graveyard and it's still good. This, I put it in the graveyard, it's not useful to me anymore. Um, three Legionnaire, uh, for, you know, Achilles Abuse, stuff like that. Uh, it's a three star, a little bit of control, and then, uh, three Dukes. Uh, the main synchro material and a pretty big beater. Once you get your entire setup, you can actually just leave it alone, leave it there. Um, hold on, let me put the dual terminal off one first. We got the uh, three mass dragons. Mass three mass dragon in this deck is amazing. You can stall for days if you're not drawing into what you need to. Say if you got like one or two of these in your hand, you know. And I, I do like having one in my hand because it can't get crowed. But you know, I don't like having two in my hand. So, you know, say you get like two of these in your hand, you're waiting for the opportunity to use it. Well, can you go ahead and stall out with Mass Dragon? Look at that one. Got this from my friend, uh, Atlas, or he knows his name. He knows his name. I'll, I'll put annotations to my friends in the channel. Um, they are responsible for helping me get some of the stuff in this deck. So, uh, two Achilles. I only run two Achilles because, um, it's good. But it's tr it's tremendous, especially when you're getting Leviathan. But I don't want to run three because then I'll be drawing into too many tuners. Um, and I want to send my tuners or Dragon can Dragon Ravine my can or my tuners. So we got the one tech Exploder Dragon because this is always funny. People do not expect it. You mass Dragon, you go into Exploder Dragon, and then they're like, "Hmm, well I'm screwed for next turn." And that one's also dual terminal. Then we got the double. Um, dual terminal Brandestock twins. Yeah, this is uh, the main part that makes this deck amazing. Um, any of these, any of the, any of these big guys attacking twice is very hard on your opponent, and it stresses them to waste resources to try and get rid of the Brandestock and try and get rid of this monster as fast as possible. And you know you have more. Next for the loop, we got the Light and Darkness Dragon, and uh, you can actually summon this if you need to, because uh, we run Dandelion, so let them run into that Dandelion. Next turn, go ahead and summon your uh, summon your lad, and then control. Um, yeah, the Dandelion makes good pluses with uh, Dragon's Ravine, and it's a uh, it's a nice set bluff because they'll think it's a Mass Dragon or they'll think it's a Exploder Dragon, and they won't necessarily want to attack into it. Um, then we got the one phalanx. I'm glad I got mine. I'm. Um, I was debating on whether to run one or two, but one works really well. If I find that phalanx is getting crowed a lot, that then, then I might bump it up to two. But uh, I do like the one phalanx. Uh, early game, first turn Stardust with Mistletane is amazing because you just summon this thing, equip, uh, equip it to Mistletane, special summon it, and then go into first turn Stardust. You know, you don't need Vadriana for that. So, uh, sad that I did not get Vadrianas before they went up to 20 bucks. Okay, so moving on into the spells. We got the uh, two dragon, or two stamping destruction. Requires a dragon, but since your main focus are these two monsters, it's really easy and it'll clear the path for these two monsters too. Um, and do a little bit of burn damage. And uh, they need all the life points they can get, so that's good. Now, of course, you got the three dragon ravine. I only have one terraforming to search it. Um, I might leave it at 1, might bump it up to 2, let me know what you think. I'm kind of liking it at 1. I don't, I don't necessarily have to use it that often, I usually draw into my Dragon Ravine. I got 2 Mage Power, because Mage Power is pro, no I'm kidding, but um, this is the beatdown element. I'm not running 3 because it comes a dead draw, but uh, Brand Stock, Mage Power, you do math, I mean that automatically is a 1000. 
onto any one of these monsters, and that's bad, because it'll be able to, to attack twice. The one pot of avarice, you know, after you get, or let you reuse your, uh, your dukes, your, uh, your, uh, legionnaire, your mistletanes, um, one foolish, because you can send the dandelion, or send whatever you need at the moment, if you need a phalanx in the grave, or a brandstock in the grave, or an achilles in the grave, you can send it. One cards of consonants, I do want to bump this up to two, um, it's good draw power. And uh, two spiritual wind art my obby. In case your stuff gets bottomless, go ahead and uh, bounce their monster to the bottom of the deck. Great against synchros, and uh, great when your legionnaire is sitting there looking stupid because it's only got 1,200 attack points. One Icarus attack because I'm afraid of Starlight Road, and Starlight Road kind of goes <clears throat> on this deck. Um, I do not like Starlight Road because then Achilles becomes kind of a uh, useless because they have a Stardust. I mean, I can. Summon Legionnaire, try and blow up stuff, and then, you know, the Achilles effect would go off in the grave, but still, you know, uh, only the one Icarus attack, especially because people are expecting the Icarus attack, so I get to make room for other stuff. Um, one Wimstorm and a, uh, Attica, this will probably be taking out, taken out for a, uh, Trap Stun or Seven Tools. I'm debating, I need to work room in for a Trap Stuns and Seven Tools, because Deep Risen kind of poops on this deck, but, um, yeah, this card is really good. Um, saves your saves your saves your butt for a turn. That's what that's what it does. Mirror Force, because I have three of them now, so there's a Mirror Force in every deck. And uh, two Bottomless. Uh, bottomless is really good. Protect your monsters and you know high level stuff that may or not may or may not possibly get over this stuff. So. Um, Extra deck. We got a Red Nova, because you can go into Red Nova. It's incredibly hard in this variant, but uh, you can do it. Um, one Ally of Justice Decisive Armor, because you can do it. Not really that hard to do in this variant, but still. Um, one Red Nova, or run Red Dragon Archfiend, the secret. Uh, one Stardust, because you can go first turn Stardust all the time. Probably going to look into getting another one of these. One Bent Up. One bent up, uh, Thought Ruler Archfiend. Colossal Fighter, because Colossal Fighter control is hilarious. You know who I'm talking, you know what I'm talking about. Ask the Righteous, ask the Righteous, uh, the Righteous Bishop. One Urbellum, because you can go into it. I don't have Trident yet, and I should be getting it soon. Uh, and then I'll probably have to work a Dark Spear into here, because it's kind of hard going into seven. Uh, because I don't have the Wing Beast. But, I don't know. I may even work in a gale. That'd be nice. Um, yeah, so the Brio, because Brio wrecks in this deck. Iron Chain Dragon. Um, Iron Chain Dragon's just a really good card, and I think a lot the price of it's going to go up a bit. Uh, sitting pretty at like $2 now, but it's still it's just a good synchro. It's generic, and... Uh, It'll mill off cards, so it'll mess up the consistency of some decks. Um, this is really the champ synchro right here, Guybold, because it's just like it's just like having Kalutes in the grave. It's hilarious. They attack, and you know my friend is like, so what? What happens if I attack? So I say, well, damage step, just remove from play my Dukes, and then you're kind of getting pooped on. Uh, one guy and I, spam synchro. One Cataster, and uh, two Magical Android. I just have these, and I had room in the extra deck. I don't have Trident Dragon yet. don't have uh, Vajrayanas. I need to get those, but I don't want to pay 20 bucks for them, so I'm just going to wait until I have Trade Bait. And uh, then the tokens for uh, the Dandelion. I got Grinder Gear Golem, or Grinder Golem, and then uh, one of the little Raphael thingies. You know, they're hilarious. But uh, this is my Dragoonity deck. Go ahead and uh, tell me what you think of it, what I should add, what I should take out. There will be a side deck going, or a side deck being built soon, and um, I'm not entirely sure I'm going to play Black Wings at the regionals. I think I might take, um, I think I might take the Dragoonity. Uh, so if I do, then I'm going to have to take some of the stuff out of Black Wings and put it in here, and then you'll see a, you'll see a, a regional deck profile. Be, that I will post after the regional 
But uh, yeah, just go ahead and let me know what you think. I'm the Blackwing Ninja. Rate, comment, subscribe.